What is up friends, welcome back for some more Better Call Saul. This intro is probably going to be pretty short because I don't really want to waste too much more time before finding out where the story is going to go after the cliffhanger at the end of last episode. I don't know if it's going to be anybody that we've already seen that Nacho wants Mike to track down and I assume kill. I mean that's what his language that he used was suggesting but I assume it's going to be something exciting and also very interested to see what happens with the meeting of Jimmy and the rest of the partners and so hopefully it doesn't leave us in suspense for too long and we get to find out this episode but hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for this one if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel grow of course you can check out the full length reaction to this episode on my patreon link for that is in the description below of course you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me there but all the full length reactions are uploaded a lot sooner than the YouTube edits so you can get them there early as well but with Without further ado, let's jump into episode four. Wait, does that signify that he's already done the job? That would be interesting if it just completely skipped over it, but maybe Nacho's just paying him ahead of time, I don't know. I mean, the fact that he's icing his head right now tells me he did get into some sort of altercation, but if that is the case, I certainly would hope that they would flash back to it and show us what happened. Oh my gosh, dude, he looks rough. That's way worse than what I was expecting to see. I thought it was just going to be a little scratch. Oof, man, what an intro. That was some good stuff. Mike is certainly heading down a slippery slope, though. I don't know if this is exactly what he wanted to do, because he seemed to have a lot of regret for his cop days, so we'll see what he does from here on out. How could that be? Where did it all go? If you or a loved one is a resident of a Sandpiper Crossing facility or other associated... Jesus, retirement you used your own voice? Oh my gosh, dude, I'm so worried that they're gonna roast Jimmy right now but I feel like the commercial was super effective, although it was very targeted, so maybe there's like some defamation issues. The headline here is, I think, we've gotten nearly 200 phone calls since this one airing. Cliff, since you and I spoke last night, 72 more. There's no denying it did its job, man. Cliff wanted results. Jimmy got it for him. We are a team at Davis and Maine. This is a team approach. You coming to us as a solo practitioner, I knew there's gonna be a learning curve, but if you simply can't fit in as part of the team. Oh gosh, man, it sounds like he is about to threaten to fire him now. That's not what I want to hear. The vote is currently two to one to fire you for cause. However, I believe in second chances. But no, this is both strike one and strike two. Oh dang, well thank goodness that he's not officially fired. Gotta give Cliff some credit there. But yikes, man, that was not the reaction I was hoping for or really expecting. Reach the voicemail of Kim Wexler. Please leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Don't tell me that Kim's not answering because she's upset at him because she learned about it too. I'm so worried about what could happen because of this. It's a simple question, Kim. Did you or did you not know about this commercial? Yes, he showed it to me. He showed it to you? A few days ago. And you didn't say anything? No, dude, don't tell me that Kim's gonna take any sort of flack for it too. She didn't know. I mean, Jimmy didn't tell her the truth. At the time, I didn't think it was necessary. Well, you were wrong about that. We were caught flat-footed in front of our co-counsel, which I don't need to tell you, does not reflect well on HHM or on you. Oh man, every shot of Chuck now pisses me off. That man is just ruining everything. He probably wants Kim gone just because she has a good relationship with Jimmy. Tuco gets in his car, I get in mine, boom, we go our separate ways. You see him packing up, drive over, pull up in the spot next to Tuco's, pop, headshot, roll out. Oh gosh, man. I don't think it went that easily, though, based off the shots at the beginning of the episode. All these um, dealers, they know we're here, so the story is one of them got ideas, decided to kill Tuco, get a cut of the business. Could have been any of them as far as the cartel's concerned. Wait a second, man. Based off that last line, it sounds like Nacho wants him to take out Tuco. I thought he was going to have him take out whatever contact they were meeting. Last one takes off, you're open. Someone comes in behind me, I'm blocked. Who's going to pull in behind you? Well, I'm guessing someone who likes tacos. <laughs> 
great line right there. You really got to think of everything for something like this. Well, we know that whatever is going on here, that Tuco doesn't actually die. Back in 96, Tuco and I were working with these bikers out of Riverside County. They're running this peanut butter crank. Tuco develops a taste for it. I mean, Tuco erratic. <laughs> <laughs> made him erratic i feel like he's literally always erratic this dude is always at a level 11 out of 10. he thinks dog is supplying his competitor trying to cut tuco out tuco doesn't even raise his voice but suddenly he's got a sawed off right in dog's face i was behind him and this a piece of dog's skull oh geez dude that's pretty unfortunate my goodness i can definitely understand why nacho wants him dead at this point because it doesn't sound like he would last very long either anybody that knows Tuco. Man with a scoped rifle could get a clean shot, fire a single round, disappear before anybody knew what had happened. Pretty far. You can make that shot? Yeah. <laughs> you know dang well Mike is capable of anything. Well, what the heck happens where Mike somehow gets beat the crap up? Oh, no. Are you looking for Miss Wexler? Guess I'm too late, huh? No, she's still here. Oh gosh, dude. I am so afraid for this interaction and it looks like they did demote her again, moved her office. Don't tell me Jimmy's one move just ruined her future. I am so, so sorry. I thought they'd understand once they saw the numbers. I knew it would work and it did. It worked. Oh, I don't know how he's going to be able to smooth things over. I mean, telling her about what he did with Mike's client before is one thing, but when it affects Kim's job too, it's another story. This is total BS. I'm, I'm talking to him tonight. Jimmy, no. I'll explain it to him. No! I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. If you go to Howard, you and I, we're done. Oh gosh, man, this is serious stuff. But I mean, that's not the worst that <laughs> she's implying that they're not done yet. I'm sorry. Gosh dang it, this sucks. This is so conflicting because on one hand, I'm always rooting for Jimmy, at least at this point. But on the other hand, I can also understand where everyone else is coming from. I can't believe he's going to see Chuck, man. This is the first time this season he's gone to his house. It's not gonna be a friendly visit like we're used to. Can you hear me? Can you talk to me? Do you want me to get you to the hospital? No. No hospitals. What is going on with him right here? Have people not been taking care of him? I don't know if it has to do with that or if he's just sick or something. Extra protection here. Even after everything Chuck's done and all they've been through recently, Jimmy still is taking care of him. Can't deny that he's got a good heart, especially when it comes to his family. As always, I've gone to the trouble of grinding down the serial number. Mm. Looks like a hernia with a scope on it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike has a very high taste, man. He's not going to take anything less than amazing. The M40. Tried and true, battle tested. You seem to know this one. Oh, yeah. You could say that. Doesn't surprise me at all, man. I feel like Mike is familiar with most gun models. And is a pretty nice looking gun, too. Probably would do the trick. Well, if these aren't to your liking, I could get my hands on a few more. I've changed my mind. Thank you. I don't need anything at this time. Oh shoot, I didn't expect that to be the result of this. I thought he was just gonna pick out a gun and go to work. I'm worried what Nacho's response is gonna be to that. Did you get any sleep? Some. How are you feeling? I could use some tea. If that was me, I'd be like, well, make yourself some freaking tea, Chuck. As much as Chuck has done bad recently, if he changed his tune and tried to help Jimmy, I would gain a little bit of respect back for him. So many important things for you to do there, like stick it to Kim Wexler. Those decisions are all Howard's. When Howard was making his management decisions, was he sitting on your knee with your arm up his ass? <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. This is wild. He is sticking it to him right now. Maybe there actually still isn't too much love between Jimmy and Chuck. Not letting us know what you were up to was her mistake. You can't be pissed off at her about this. Why shouldn't he be? Because she didn't know. That's the truth. There's no reason for her to be punished for this. But this is a world that I've never been a part of, so maybe they do things differently. It was a simple little commercial. Can I remind you, it worked. It worked like a dream. 
extreme? See, that's your problem, Jimmy. Thinking the ends justify the means. You know what? Never mind, man. I don't think I'll ever be on Chuck's side again. This man just angers me too much. You're my brother, and I love you, but you're like an alcoholic who refuses to admit he's got a problem. Now someone's giving you the keys to the school bus, and I'm not going to let you drive it off a cliff. This dude is ridiculous. He talks to Jimmy like he's just the worst person ever and fails to recognize any of his own mistakes. I don't believe that he truly loves Jimmy. You want me to quit being a lawyer? A chip with a machine gun, that's me, right? What do you say? You help Kim, I quit the law. Is that a deal? Oh my gosh, man. He is going right back at him, though. He's not going to back down. The McGills are certainly very stubborn. That would be extortion. Yeah. You just set things right for Kim. You get her back in her office, out of doc review, everything back to normal, and I quit the law for good. Oh, geez. He is presenting everything that Chuck's wanted on a silver platter. This is such a good scene. Every time they have dialogue together, it is just incredible. You want me to commit a felony? Because that's what you do, right? Because you want to believe that deep down I'm some hypocrite. Let's find out. Oh, this is fantastic, man. Incredible acting and writing. You clearly don't need any help from me to tank your career. You're doing just fine on your own. Speaking of which, even if you leave right now, you're still going to be at least 20 minutes late for work. Uh, this dude, man, Chuck is causing so many problems. I'm worried, man. It feels like Chuck is going to get what he wants regardless of what Jimmy does at this point. So there's no reason to extort him in that case. I told you no, that it's I'm a not... bad move because it doesn't solve your real problem. My real problem was that it's not too cold keeping a secret. <laughs> I love it. Mike is actually trying to help him now, trying to give him advice. Dude is pretty smart. Nacho would be wise to listen to him. You won't have to talk to the cops. You won't have to do any time. There's no killing, but your Tuco problem, it goes away. He must have some sort of scheme hatched up, man. It seems like a pretty difficult situation, but he's come up with clever things before, so I imagine it's good. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, I'm so glad we get more Tuco footage every time he's on screen. I get so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. That guy looks so freaking fearful. I would be too if I was dealing with somebody that insane. It's all there. Shh. Let the man count. I feel like I recognize that guy from something. I don't know if it's from this show or if it's just from something else, but I don't know if it's significant to know. I'll see you next week, Tuco. Nacho. Yeah, see you, Domingo. He's got good numbers. He's hustling. What do you think? Solid? Wait a second, bro. Did I just not recognize Crazy 8? Is that who that was? Dude, it freaking was, was it? I mean, it's been almost a year since I've seen season one, but that's insane. I can't believe I didn't react to him initially. I would like to report a fight going on at the old Machicana restaurant. There is a man threatening another man with a gun. It looks to be some sort of gang thing. <laughs> Here we go. His plan is about to go into play. I don't know if it's going to work like he wants. Still curious how he gets beat up after all this. Did you see that? See what? That old man that just hit my car. <laughs> He's going to provoke him. Oh, gosh. We're going to get Mike and Tuco in the same scene. What an absolute treat. Hey, Gramps, you just hit my car. You're talking to me. <laughs> Got Mr. Magoo here. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Poor Mike. No matter who he talks to, he can't avoid the old man remarks. I saw it too. You can stand here tonight? Oh, guys, I, I, I don't want to tell you. I'm not aware of hitting anyone's car, but if I did, I apologize. So. <laughs> hey, there you go. Mike's a good actor too. Jimmy's not the only one in this show who can put on a different persona. You're going to make this all right. You're not leaving until you do. You got a pen? A pen. A pen. We'll exchange information. <laughs> Tuco is not the kind of person that exchanges information, especially considering his profession. He doesn't want to get on the map anywhere. I just cashed my social security check and I am not giving it to you. <laughs> You're not? Oh, come on, guys. 
<laughs> Dude, Mike acting all innocent. I love it. Tuco doesn't realize who he's talking to. I'm not giving you a damn thing. Give me your wallet. Let's well, just stay calm here. <laughs> you see me sweating? Wallet. This is so awesome. I'm so glad we get these two acting in a scene together. We never got that luxury in Breaking Bad. It's like 400 here. You got some crazy lip on you, old man. Your life worth 400 bucks. Hey, Duco, time to bounce. Yeah, go, go. Oh, jeez, man. Well, I think I know how Mike gets beat up. It is from Tuco, but it was all part of a plan. The hell? Let go. Let go. Oh gosh, they really are freaking brawling, okay. So Nacho got out of there, but Tuco gets caught beating up an old man. That all you got? <laughs> Oh, I love it. That is brave stuff. Just taking punches like that all for a bit of cash from Nacho. Wow. Look at you. Are you going to have to testify? The cops witnessed him in the commission of a felony. Gosh, man. Nacho better respect this man for the rest of his life after what he did for him. That looks so gnarly. You could have gotten twice as much for one-tenth the hassle. Plus, when Tuchel gets out, maybe he comes looking for you. Just saying you went a long way to not pull that trigger. Why? <laughs> he doesn't even answer him. That's wild. Love getting to learn more about Mike's backstory and the reason why he does certain things. It's also pretty fascinating. I mean, connecting it back to the Breaking Bad story that Mike could have completely changed the trajectory of that show. <laughs> Ends right there. Nacho and Mike are at the climax of two episodes in a row. I don't think that's going to continue, though. I feel like their dealings are done for now, but no doubt Nacho is going to pop up again. He keeps coming back in one form or another. It's a great episode though. I want to just keep binging this. It's definitely doing its job of gripping you and just having such a great structure. Everything is so interesting and exciting. Well, anytime an episode features Tuco in this show, it is automatically a fantastic episode in my mind because it's got such an incredible screen presence. And I loved that after everything that happened in Breaking Bad, this is the first time we actually got a scene between Mike and him. So that was really cool to see those two actors go head to head after both having such great characters in that show. And also a very surprising cameo that I didn't expect so much so that it took me a while to even realize who I was seeing in Crazy 8. But really really cool connection just to kind of see the beginning stages of his involvement with the drug business so pretty interesting stuff there i don't exactly know what's going to happen with tuco i mean obviously he's got to go to jail for a little bit right i don't remember necessarily if there's any mention of tuco being in jail and breaking bad not off the top of my head if i remember correctly but i would assume that that will take him out of the show at least for a couple seasons i mean i obviously don't know how much time the show covers and so eventually he might pop up again but i think that's it for now which is a little bit disappointing but i mean nacho has been a great character as well so i've really liked his involvement in the show but as far as jimmy's side of things which is just as interesting as the stuff going on with mike and tuco things are pretty rough for him right now obviously kim has taken a hit unfortunately because of his actions and their relationship i feel like is just hanging on by a thread but hopefully they can salvage it because they are the best dynamic duo in the show up to this point and obviously stuff with chuck isn't smoothing over anytime soon but i hope that he can redeem himself here soon with davis and maine and obviously he's not fired yet but he is on very thin ice right now so hopefully something else happens positive here soon where jimmy can flip the script on how everybody views him but overall another amazing episode really loving the second season so far definitely building off everything good about the first season and just improving in a lot of areas as well and so 
so I'm excited to see what happens next with you all. If you did enjoy this video though, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the video reach a lot more people, helps the channel grow. Of course, you can check out the full length reaction to it on my Patreon link for that is in the description below. But until the next episodes, I will see you all later. Peace.